Hi guys, uh, today I want to make a video about my five favorite um, house plants um, on my table. I have to, uh, I want to talk about them a little bit and also their care tip. So if you're interested, please keep on watching. Hello Pecan, she loves her squeaky toy. Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, look at her ear. She plays with her squeaky toy very well. Hello. Hello Pecan, hello Pecan, look at here, Pecan, good girl, good girl, good girl. First um, houseplant that gives me a joy um, these days is my Monstera Peru. As you can see, it's really lovely green and lush, and I uh, keep it hanging down uh, up in my uh, shelf uh, in my living room. And um, I have to tell you, I bought this two years ago, I think. Now it's three years, 2020 I bought it and it came to me as a full plant but then um, it slowly lost uh, lots of leaves and I um, left with like four leaf at the bottom but then um, I figured out how to grow it and um, ever since uh, I've uh, uh, been careful with watering and uh, light and stuff like that. Uh, it's been growing nicely and Look at these new leaves and it's uh, been sitting in a corner that uh, doesn't get any sunlight. It's just uh, um, Grow light um, So it doesn't need that much of a Sun uh, And it doesn't need water as well too much um, just um, once once a week in summertime and once every 10 days to two weeks in winter time and it grows really nicely like this lush and beautiful leaves for you so if you have monster peru uh, know that uh, it doesn't need lots of sunshine um, and it can uh, survive or even thrive in a um, um, you know less lighty corner like a, a dark corner but it still needs some some light to grow of, of course in no plant will grow in no light uh, so we still have to provide some kind of a grow light for it but not too much of a sunshine or bright light they don't need a bright light it's just an, a, a little bit of a, a light grow light is enough Next, I want to talk about this um, holy, um, Hoya, sorry, Hoya Polinera. I received this two years ago again, I think, um, either 2020 or 2021. I'm not sure, maybe 2021. And it was only two leaf cutting from a Hoya friend. I receive it and I've... Uh, grown it into this uh, little plant with three cuttings so it grows really nicely and fast as you can see it's beautiful shape uh, it's like a, a I don't know fishtail uh, it's called fishtail or Hoya polinera um, and it grows fast and <clears throat> once it grows longer 
uh, I took a cutting and I just put it inside the um, container uh, or pot and it, it leaves in this uh, lacquer and a little bit of a ceramics on top uh, um, pot and um, I water it this much at the moment and um, just before it finishes the water then I'll top it up on, up until uh, like halfway through it and there is no drainage or anything like that so it can survive like this and it grows uh, with no drainage whole um, pot um, really easy Hoya to grow and beautiful and it gives me lots of pleasure and joy because it's very easy and beautiful uh, next I have my philodendron uh, pastazana it's a big philodendron I bought it from um, Equigenera um, in 2021 um, and it came to me um, with two big leaves but then lost the two leaves and it down to a stump and then I tried to grow it from stump and it grew the first two leaves as you can see I think there was one more that lost it and um, these two I think they had kind of um, maybe pest problem I don't know especially was it a spider mite or thrips one of those and I tried to, to treat it uh, with water and um, a mixture of um, neem oil and my systemic that I use for my orchid as well and the last or recent leaf that has grown is really beautiful and big I really love it I can't show it properly I think yeah this is a way because it sits next to my windowsill uh, south facing windowsill and enjoys the um, bright light and my media for this one is a bonsai uh, mix which is a pumice and a bit of a akodama so it grows very well in pumice and akodama or pond if you have pond um, and it needs uh, lots of water but not soggy wet it's just um, uh, enjoys the moisture and uh, well draining soil should be good for it and yeah I really love this new leaf which is really big and I couldn't believe when it grows grow this one in during this winter and yeah really enjoy looking at it every day so that's my philodendron pastazana Next, I have a recent acquisition, um, which is really loving it when I uh, pass um, from it um, next to my kitchen. And this one is a, a variegated um, ginger lily. And it came to me even better than that. Uh, I lost some of the leaves. Um, because my house probably is not uh, doesn't have enough um, humidity for it but still looking great and I enjoy it so far it's okay uh, I don't know if I'd be able to keep it this beautiful because it came to me really nice and it's been in perfect condition of the um, uh, you know greenhouses so I don't know if it can if it can uh, adopt, but I really love looking at it at the moment. It even has three color here, like pinkish and white and green. It's beautiful uh, variety, and look at the stem. I really enjoy every part of this plant, even the um, you know dead leaves, looking great. <laughs> yellow and lovely but um, yeah they're dry the leaves are drying fast 
I'm not sure if it's because of humidity I think maybe um, because my house has 50 to maybe 65 percent um, it can go down to like um, even 40 percent humidity and I'm sure that this plant need a bit of a more higher uh, humidity but for the moment it's um, growing nicely and you know um, it looks very nice and I enjoy looking at it every day <clears throat> uh, uh, last but not least I have another philodendron for you this is my philodendron Lamania. Uh, look at the leaf, last leaf that it has, and it grown it during uh, autumn to winter. And it's so beautiful. I love the leaves. And recently, I've uh, repotted it into this um, triangle, oh, sorry, rectangle uh, pot, and it's a uh, um, cli um uh, was a crawling plant and and that's why I used to grow it into just a uh, you know regular pot but uh, since I saw this long rhizome uh, I put it into this so hopefully when it grows longer it produces some um, roots that I can maybe chop it later on and put it back and uh, readjust the to make a fuller plant but currently it has three leaves which is really beautiful and I really enjoy watching it loving it seeing it growing nicely every day this is in my um, south facing windowsill so it gets um, lots of sun uh, bright light and the media thread is um, you know the aeroid mixture bark and a little bit of a pumice perlite and you know that kind of mixture with moss on top I just put the moss uh, to provide more humidity around the plant uh, so the media doesn't have moss but it's just on top and I'm hoping that it grows more root so as I said then I can chop it and readjust the plant to get a fuller plant okay I think that's it uh, for today five uh, favorite house plant currently giving me lots of pleasure when, when I am looking at them I hope you've enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and also um, updates regarding my other house plants including orchids and hoyas thank you very much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye